Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. Today we have Flamifer in the Soul Forge, so I want to show you a couple teams you can use with this weapon. It's very important that you get this. Um, weapons in the Soul Forge, they take forever to come back around, so it's a good weapon. It's one you should get when you see it in the Soul Forge, and on top of that, it's going to be like nine months at least until we see this again, so... That is half the reason why you should get it, is because it's going to be so long before we see it again. And it's used in like two of the best teams in the game. So let's check out Flamifer today. Spotlight is on Flamifer. Let's go show you a couple of teams with it. Let's start out with the one you guys might not know as much, the uh, Yaogui Queen Titania team. Uh, let's see if I got it here. Kind of doing this off the cuff. We got Flamifer, Yaogui, Queen Titania, Child of Summer. Sun Spear class, double uh, green, double red, minus purple banner. So the maze banner, Sun Spear class. You got your fire blade, you got all that good stuff. Uh, let's just take a look at it. So, first of all, you got creative firestorm at the start of every turn. That's nice because Queen Titania gets extra turns off of red if you have more than 13 red on the board. Um, Yao Gui turns purple into red, so that's helpful with that as well. And Flamifer makes a bunch of red, so it's plus uh, the Child of Summer turns brown to red, so a bunch of good reasons why you'd want a Firestorm. And on top of that, we have Root Trap, Snap Freeze, Insulated, Fire Starter, Gift of Fire, Fire Bringer, and Fire Blade. So really good team. Um, Flamifer, Yao, Gui, Queen, Titania, Child of Summer. Child of Summer starts uh, Empowered, so it starts Battles with Full Mana, converts Brown Gems to Red, Conjure a Firestorm. Um... So that gets your team started. Hopefully then you will get a conversion with Yao Gui. Do some heavy damage. This thing does real like mythic levels of damage when it when it hits right. So that's why it's considered one of the best legendaries in the game. It's because it hits so hard, it's like a mythic. Then you have Queen Titania, just the peanut butter and jelly with Yao Gui. If there's 13 or more red gems on the board, and if you cast Yao Gui, there most likely is going to be that. You'll do a bunch of damage to all enemies and gain an extra turn. It also fairy fires a random enemy in four or five gym matches, so they'll also be fairy fired. But let's show a battle here with this team. This is one of the two best Flamifer teams in the game. Alright, so first thing you're going to look for is you want to see this right here. Convert brown gems to red. If that happens, you're pretty much guaranteed a win. If it doesn't happen, then who knows? But uh, we're frozen on yellow and green, so we can take this big brown extra turn. Uh, do we have it? We got we got some right here. We got some right here. I mean, you could do it. It's that or match brown and get Flamifer. I think I'm going to do that. Flamifer creates 10 red gems, deals damage to an enemy boosted by red gems. So let's uh, do that now. They got life and death. All right, so we made all that red, plus all the, there's purple on the board, so we're going to do this conversion, and watch how much damage this Yao Gui does. Especially their fairy fired over there and everything. Boom, one shot their freaking hero. Then you check for your Queen Titania, because if it's, there's 13 or more red on the board, you always want to cast it, no matter what. It's like free damage. Then we have Yao Gui, and he can probably finish them off, even if you don't have alignment, but let's uh, play it safe here. Take that brown... Um, yeah, let's go for it. Boom, they're dead. See how quick and easy that was? Yao Gui, Queen Titania. It's been a good team for a very long time. There's no Mythics on the team. And it's one of the main reasons you want to get Flamifer. Let's show this uh, team at least one more time, and then we'll go show you the other team Flamifer is used for. Alright, we're hoping for that brown convert. We don't have it. So in that case, it's like you kind of want to either concentrate on your Flamifer or your Yao Gui. Um, we got some yellow. So I'm like, I guess I'll go with that. Try to get Flamifer up. I mean, you could go ahead and do your, do it and get... But I kind of like to wait, see if I can get an extra... Oops, I did it. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's do red into yellow, I think. All right, we got our Yao Gui and our Flamifer. Let's see if our Flamifer can give us an extra turn or line up our Yao Gui or something. Pretty good there. 
Um, there are 13 or more on the board, so let's go ahead and cast that. Now, we have Yao Gui, but we do not have alignment, so it's it's kind of like up to you whether you want to fire it off or not. We're going to do um, 93 damage, so we could kill their uh, Lord of Slaughter if we wanted to. That or we could wait. I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Get rid of that Lord of Slaughter. That's the most dangerous thing on their team. You gotta make that decision sometimes whether you're gonna cast it or not. See, now we have alignment, of course. Let's get our Yao Gui back up. We have it here again. It's not aligned to where we're getting an extra turn, but it hits so hard, sometimes you just go ahead. Get another kill, it's up again. Now, okay, we got it right here a little bit. Uh, we got this, let's do this. And now we have that. And now, uh, let's take the green. Take the yellow. Now we have it. There we go. And they're dead. So, pretty good PvP team. Um, I haven't, I don't use it like too, too much. But if you're looking for a team that has no mythics on it, that's really good. I would go with Yao Gui Queen Titania with Flamifer. And it's one of the best teams that Flamifer is used on. Flamifer is in the Soul Forge right now for 300 diamonds. And you should not leave this week without it. All right, let's go check out the other team Flamifer is used on. Come on, game. Why, hello there. Come on now. Oh, is it acting like I just started the game today or something? Come on now. All right, we'll go do some vault keys just for fun while we do this. Um, just to show this team. And we have... I call it Bye Bye because it turns them to dust. It's Flamifer, Thrall, Zul, Goth, Leprechaun, Slayer, Class, Double Purple, Yellow, Minus Green. And we're doing the Fireblade thing again. Same as the last team, except for with Slayer instead, so we can get that in Rage. And usually you will cast your Leprechaun and get up your Thrall. Which it didn't happen this time, but that's, you know, sometimes that happens. Um... Let's take brown and red here, I guess. Let's try to get everything going. Extra turn, Zul'Goth. Boom, that's our Fireblade doing work. Once again. And once again. So this team, Flamifer's the weapon for one of the best teams in the game. This is a Zul'Goth team, so one with a Mythic, one without a Mythic. Let's go again here. You can also do Difficulty 12 Explore with this. You can do uh, uh, some uh, Delves, like we had Depths of Sin yesterday. You could have done Depths of Sin yesterday with it. So anytime you can use this team, it's a good choice, I would say. And you just pick Skulls. After you burn them up, you use that Fire Blade. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go show it on a Difficulty 12 Explorer so you don't think it's just only doing stuff like like that. Um, where we go? Don't really matter. Let's just pick Galvania so you can see. Explore, 12. Let's just see how quickly I can do this. This is probably the best team that Flamifer is on. Yagway yeah, to Queen Titania is one of the best legendary teams in the game. But like overall, this might be one of the best teams in the game. Blue, purple, Thrall, Flamifer, and we just Zul'Goth, as soon as they let me. Missed, but it's okay. Got an extra turn there. 13 or more red gives us an extra turn. Another Zul'Goth. Line it up, knock them down pretty quick. It rivals the Scorpius Rally, I would say. They're pretty close. I think this is technically slightly faster, actually. All right, let me see how quickly I can do this. You really want your Leprechaun to get up your Thrall. So that's already not happening for whatever reason. So we'll get it up ourselves. Got our Zul'Goth. Boom. Boom. God, I must have some sort of mitigation. It's all good. Let's do this. Could have took an extra turn, but it's all good. Now there it is. Pretty quick for a Difficulty 12 Explorer team. Especially when everything goes right. 
Like, normally you'll cast your Leprechaun, your Thrall will get right up, and then with all those explosions and your Red Storm, your Thrall will get an extra turn when you cast that. Then you cast your Zulgoth, and then your, if you're, all your Skulls line up, the battle can go so quick. If everything goes perfectly, this... And it doesn't have to go perfectly. Like, this team's good even when it doesn't go perfectly. But if everything would go perfectly, y'all would see how amazing this team is. Like, the Skulls for us don't want to line up perfectly. Thrall doesn't want to get up right away for us for whatever reason. He's trying to be ornery with us today. Still pretty quick. Let's see if we can get a boss chest. But Flamifer definitely recommended you do not leave this week without it. It's only 300 diamonds, and it's used on at least two of the best teams in the game. There's another one I can think of. You could use it with Ferocities, even. So that's like at least three or four teams it's used on. We got this red. Um, I'm going to go Leprechaun, make that Firestorm. Go Zulgoth. Skull, here we go, watch. They barely even got a turn there. So if I was a little quicker on the trigger, that battle would have went even faster. Don't think we're going to get a boss chest here, but let's finish off the mini boss and we'll call it a day. Not sure about the live streams, y'all. I'm still kind of out of it. I'm good. I'm good and everything. I don't, we don't need any, you know. I'm good. It's just like stickier and it, it's more than just being sick. Like it kind of destroys your motivation and makes it so you can't go to work. So then you're behind on everything else. Wow, not having motivation. Like, I don't want to even talk about it anymore, you know? We'll just... what It is what it is. You guys know what's going on. It might take me longer than I thought. But we'll get back on that horse. Which I never really got off the horse. I've been doing videos pretty much every single day throughout having the sickness. Except for I took a couple days off. But, yeah, that's what I'd recommend for this week. The best thing in the Soul Forge is Flamifer. And those are the two most notable teams I could think of for Flamifer. So, yeah, put your teams in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. Joining up would be great. We have 59 members right now. Be cool to get back to the sexy 60. We can't seem to stay sexy because we love to be filthy. But I love y'all either way. You guys are the best. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate you so, so much. Stay safe out there. Peace out.